What was going so well for you at the plate, do you think, today? Uh, I was really just seeing the ball today, and I was really glad about that. And I think that stepping up and the way that Bailey had to go down like that was really hard. So I think that at the plate, I felt the need to step up a little bit. Also, that um, hitting the ball is just so important to me, especially since it's my sophomore season. And I'm really trying to step up, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you stepped up in a big way. That was going to be my next question to you. So your natural position is catcher. Yes. But obviously with Bailey here and being an older player, they wanted your bat in the lineup but you had to play the outfield. What was that, I guess, challenge like, you know, moving to the outfield? And, and what are some of the things that you kind of went up against trying to learn maybe a new position? Um, I'm guessing just that I had to take reps in the outfield a lot more. I mean, I haven't played the outfield in a good amount of time, but I think that just taking the reps in the outfield at practice and really making everything count at practice was a big part of it. Do you feel pretty comfortable out there now? Yes, I do. Well, I just want to compliment yeah, ahead, you, Thank you that a lot of times players get in their heads, I'm a catcher, I'm a shortstop, I'm an outfielder, and what we try to say while we're on the air, leave your ego in the locker room do what you have to do for the team to win. And I just mm -hmm. wanted to say, as a fine catcher, sophomore as you are, you do what is needed for your team to be successful. So very good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure it's not tough for you to be unselfish, is it? <laughs> you, you've been very unselfish for sure for this team, and you want to do what's best for the team. So that being said, Bailey goes down, and you're asked to catch, and, and you guys don't miss a beat, but what kind of went through your mind when you saw Bailey struggling out there at second base? It really hurt me because she's such a big part of this team. I thought to myself, I was like, if she's going down right now, I just didn't want anything to be hurt or broken for the rest of the season. That was really what was going through my head, and I just wanted to make sure she was okay. So, again, you're, you're only a sophomore, and to be doing what you're doing at the plate is really impressive for being a young, a young player. Um, what, what do you think makes you special as a hitter? I mean, what are some of the things that, that you believe you bring to the table as a hitter? And, and you have so much confidence as, as a young player. That's, that's not, again, not an easy thing to do, especially when you didn't have your freshman year last year. Yeah, uh, not having the freshman year was a big thing, I guess. Um, at the plate, really just... I was really just hoping to make contact this year and really just get out there and start my high school season out with a few good hits and getting on base rather than like trying to hit home runs or trying really hard to like do very, very good instead of just really just taking it all in mm -hmm. and hitting the ball hard. So you're just trying not to do too much. Yes. Just you trying know. to contribute to the success of the team. Yes. Anything uh, else, Roger? For no, Maddie? no. I just, I just thought it was a solid team win today by everybody all around. We wish Norwin the best of luck Monday. You have against, to be excited too, Maddie, to play North Allegheny, oh, yes, right? I against am. NA, <laughs> and we wish you well, not only for the rest of this season, but your career at Norwin, and then beyond. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maddie. Appreciate it. Thank you.